Before we get into this video, I want to give a huge shout out to Eddie Birdie. If writing is a difficult subject for you, you should definitely check out edubirdie.com. You can choose from hundreds of professional writers who are really skilled in different fields of study. These professionals will help you with whatever academic writing assignment you have, whether it's editing your existing paper or creating you a new one from scratch. Eddie Birdie just makes that 10 times easier, you feel me? So again, shout out to Eddie Birdie. Even if if you trying to write a letter to your mom, check out EddieBirdie.com. Enjoy the video, right? You ask me about a whiny, I guess I'm a bag for me. Your body looks bad on me, cause they get sweating for me. Won't you beg for me? Won't you beg? Won't you beg? Watch me beg for you. What is up, Halo Army? It's your boy, Milo. It's a girl, Hazel. And what are we doing today, shorty? We are doing our first ever mukbang for you guys. Surprisingly, a lot of you guys wanted us to do this. And, like, obviously, it involves food, so I'm down. Like, I was... Mm -hmm. I've been wanting to do this. So, we went to Buffalo Wild Wings. Um, mm -hmm. We got a bunch of food. You want to show what you got? Okay, babe got hot barbecue, boneless. That's what he always gets. I got hot boneless. That's what I always get. We got some fried pickles right here. I ate some when, I, when we were in the car because I was like really hungry. Some mozzarella sticks, some fries. Some fries. Some blades and, and wings. And some blades and wings. Some celery, some ranch. And oh, I went, just, I went and got me a lemonade. Tricky. And I got Dr. Pepper. Because I don't drink soda no more. So... Yeah, that's what we got. Dang. And I'm so hungry, so I'm going to start eating. If you guys don't like fried pickles, when I first heard about this, like, I actually really love pickles. So I was like, I need to try them fried. You know what I'm saying? So. Everybody just commenting food. All right, so basically, I just posted on my Instagram story, and I told people <laughs> to send me topics of, like, what we can talk about today. So first thing we can talk about is a baby. A lot of y'all want us to have a baby. Like, what y'all think? What you think, baby? I think we will have a baby when we're married and when we when it, when God feels like we're ready. That's what I think. What? What do you think? You wanna have a baby right now? I'm gonna have one today. Sorry to burst your bubble, but that's not gonna happen. Why? Wow. Because no. You like O D O D bugging bugging. No, that's you. Taste one. Mm-mm. Babe. I will punch you. Stop. Eat your fries. Mm -mm. Do you want some more fries? Nope. Mm -mm -mm. That soda's gonna make you break out. Okay. I'm already breaking out. So? So might as well. I don't care. I'm hungry. So, again, about the bed. Mm -hmm. You want a boy or a girl? I'd be happy with either, honestly. But I, if I had to choose, you know, I would choose a boy. To have a boy first. Because I want at least two kids. I want four. Where are you gonna get four kids from? From you. Not me. Yeah. I'm a plan them in you. You are crazy if you think I'm putting pushing you out water them. children. You gonna water them, you gonna give them sunlight, and you gonna blossom four kids. You gonna sprout four kids. <laughs> Alright, I want three max. I want three boys and one daughter. What? What the if, heck? If anybody try to talk to our daughter, we got three sons that can jump and then jump them. We got three sons that can jump. You feel me? Mm-mm. Are they good, baby? These are fire. Bro? Mm-hmm. You know I love my buffalo wild ones when they sit a little bit. Mm-hmm. Because like the chicken absorbs the sauce. Mm-hmm. It's so fire. Mm -hmm. Can I eat this? Can I just eat this the whole moment? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, baby. Was Come there on. another spoon in for it? I don't know. I'm sorry, well. I thought I gave you two. Were they, were they all in there? I think this is just a knife. They didn't put no more in there? No. Oh, it's right here. Uh, no, that's the one I just threw. I don't know where. I think they just gave us one. Hey, you know, your mom? I can't eat mine with my finger. I know okay. you I know you cut yours up. Thank you, baby. You're so sweet. You're welcome, baby. This is sharp. I don't know why I have to always use ranch when I'm eating buffalo wild wings. So weird. Alright. So y'all, you see we got blades of wings again. If you're a real OG, you know this was our first video, right? This was our mm -hmm. first video. This Not, was the first video. That was video, our first like actual, actual video, video yeah. that we intended on doing for YouTube. The other ones, it was kind of like, I just posted them because I had them. If you guys are true fans, you know y'all like. know this is the first video we ever did was the blazing challenge. So... I think we're about to do like a little mini part two for y'all later. All right, right baby, baby names. 
Right, babe? Yeah, we're going to do a part two. Baby names. I have no idea. Y'all don't laugh at me for cutting up my boneless chicken either, okay? Me? I always don't said this it. to her. If we have a daughter, I want to name her Miley. Only because that just sounds pretty, Miley. You even agreed, and then like the next day, you was like, I never agreed to that. You did agree. You have horrible memory. I don't like that, baby. I'm sorry. And if we have a son, name him Johnny. Do y'all see how much he's tripping? Uh-uh. No. No, no, boy. Johnny Rocket. No. I, I don't know. If we have kids, like... And the girl's name is going to be My Lady Did It. Her last name is going to be Did It. <laughs> Man, stop playing with me. That's a knee slapper. <laughs> it's so ugly. Sure, I know about it. What time is it? It's 10.40 p.m. That's like the first thing we eat all day. We eat super late. Is it? Oh, it is. Yes, babe. Every, literally, everybody's asking about kids. Y'all just want to stop kids so bad. What you like and dislike about sharing your relationship on a big public like, likes? You want me to go first? You can go first. All right. One thing I love, since like with me, I've always tried to, tried to use my reach in the best possible way possible possible. What? <laughs> On the best possible way possible. Possibly. Okay. Whatever that means. Alright. I, I got a burp that's coming, but it won't come. Ooh, that wasn't even a burp. I forced Halo. it too much. <laughs> Yo, Halo just looked up like, what the freak was that? <laughs> but, um, the biggest the biggest benefit of something like this is because we get too inspired. We have, we have the power to change lives, honestly. Like, I know a lot of people look at it and they don't think to... To, what? They're not too crazy about like public influencers, you know what I mean? You got people that are like, okay, if I see a celebrity, I will never go take a picture with them. And then you got people that's like, oh my God, I cannot wait to see them. I can't wait to take pictures, blah, blah, blah. You got different people that look at it in different in different perspectives. And there is people out here that actually look up to us and people that actually allow our relationship to inspire them. I feel like that's the biggest thing. We are able to change some lives and inspire some people. My dislike is just, you're in the eyes of being relationship goals. It's a lot of pressure on our relationship. It comes times where, we're, where we wonder if certain things may jeopardize our relationship, you know what I mean? So we always put our relationship before YouTube. But with us, be, with us being relationship goals on YouTube, it puts a lot of pressure on us. It's almost like if we're like caught in public arguing and there's a crowd of people who know who we are, they may look at they may look at us differently. Yeah. You feel me? So that's that's honestly like the disadvantage. And then you got, then you got people that's always gonna try to come between you guys and break you up. It's, I mean, that's, I think there's, do you think there's more like disadvantages or advantages? Definitely. Disadvantages. Okay. You want to hear my side? Okay. Repeat the question. What What do you like and dislike about sharing your relationship on a big public? Sharing our relationship on a big public platform? Mm -hmm. That's like a tongue twister. <laughs> what I like is, um, I don't know, I like showing off. Kind of <laughs> like not in a like hockey way, but I just like to show off in the sense like I feel so lucky to have someone mm -hmm. like you, baby. And I'm like, oh my god, like I just want everyone to see, you know, like how good he treats me, and like you know what I'm saying. Like when you have something good, like it's normal to want to like you know show it off, and there's nothing mm -hmm. wrong with that. So I like that for that reason, you know. Um, and also you know just being people that other people can look up to, obviously, is really good. Like you were saying, mm -hmm. so. That's something I do like, but what I dislike is being on social media, you give people the power to judge you because mm -hmm. um, you put yourself out there. You know, it's not like if you put yourself out there, it's not like you're asking for it, but you kind of are asking for it. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you're giving people the power to judge you, your relationship, your looks, your every move. So it's like me personally, I had a really hard time at first because like I just wasn't used to like putting myself out there and I'm the type of person who always wanted to clap back you know what I'm saying like mm -hmm. if anyone ever said anything like I Chicago blood. I mm -hmm. automatically like got defensive and wanted to like say something back but you know Milo taught me you know like you can't just you can't entertain the negative yeah you can't entertain that you know what I'm saying like who cares like there's always gonna be somebody out there who doesn't like you who thinks he could find someone prettier than me or who thinks he's not good for me or who thinks our relationship isn't good that we you know what I'm saying like there's always gonna be somebody out there who has something negative to say who thinks something you know what I'm saying like we can't control what other people think about us and we can't control what they're gonna say but we can control how we react to it and like me personally like it doesn't bother me because at the end of the day like we know why we're with each other and we know like why we you know what I'm saying like mm -hmm. I don't know like so that's just like the negative part about having our relationship out there like it allows people to like really judge us you just open yourself but, you just open yourself for more opinions yeah. Yeah. And like 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 I said in um 
one of our videos um we actually set it up a few times but hazel didn't always have social media like when i first met her all she had was snapchat she had snapchat she only had like a hundred thousand viewers so it was only people that she knew, people from her old schools, like stuff like that. You know what I mean? So she wasn't, she wasn't used to like strangers. Well, I'm not, I'm not calling y'all strangers. You know what I mean? But it's like people that she's never met to actually uplift her and actually love her for who she is. Like she wasn't used to that at first. Like I remember when we first started getting into YouTube. Um, it was, it was something, it was something I kind of brought up. You know what I mean? It's something, it's something I really always wanted to do. Like I'm not even, I'm not even like even way before. Way Way before Instagram, way before I got my, like, I got all those followers on Instagram. Way before that. I, I wanted to do YouTube before Instagram, before anything, you know what I mean? But I didn't, I didn't know the, I didn't know the run, run arounds for real. I didn't know YouTube. Um, I didn't have a camera or none of that, you know what I mean? So, like, it took some convincing. It took some convincing because she was even a little nervous. Um, I was actually a little nervous. I remember I would when, say, I'm sorry. I would say you probably bring up us starting YouTube a few, like, a couple of months before we actually started it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it was like it was so it like, did it take was like some time. it was literally like five months. Yeah, it took Cause if, it took some time. If y'all know our first video on YouTube went up eleven months ago. And that was just a video of me giving her a promise ring. You know what I mean? I didn't think nothing of it. Like I made that like after I did that video, I was just gonna post it on Instagram and on Facebook. Um, but I made us a YouTube channel and I posted that on there. And just that video alone got us like ten thousand subscribers. So I was like, that's that's around that's around the time when we started having that conversation when I made that YouTube. But around that time, she, we were still in a long distance relationship, so mm -hmm. we didn't know how it was gonna work with um doing YouTube. Like what I'm supposed to do, just lyric pranks every day. You feel me? And so, also, I was just really, I was just really afraid too. Yeah. As well. She was beginning. afraid. She was afraid of um negativity. Um, she you used to really care about what people thought. It it used to be so bad. Like, I did. I'm not I even remember, gonna lie. I remember when I first like met her in person. Like she was even so scared for me to post her on my story, for me to like kiss her and kiss her for my story and stuff. Cause she was afraid of what people was gonna say. And also, it's not even that. It's just like if you know me, like personally, like I've always dealt with like having really bad social anxiety so like i just i don't know i don't like being around a lot of people i don't like putting myself out there i say to myself i stay quiet you know what i'm saying like that's just the type of person that i am so i feel like in the beginning i was very very scared like i was scared to hold his hand in public i was scared to kiss him in public i was scared of like all that you know because it just was really new to me and it wasn't something i was used to but i can definitely say that now like I don't care what anyone thinks at all. You was just I'm, a flower that needed time to grow. I completely like broke out of my shell. I feel more like the person I was meant to be. I feel like just doing YouTube and doing all this social media stuff with Milo has like just opened you my guys, eyes. You guys will be surprised how much social media can boost your confidence. A lot of people are afraid because they're afraid of the negativity. But when you get over the fact that there's going to be negativity everywhere you go, it's impossible to be liked by 100% of the world. It's impossible. If you are, like, not even Martin Luther King and John F. Kennedy was liked by everybody. Yeah. That's two souls that was assassinated, you know what I mean? And they were loved in the eyes of many people. So, that just comes to show not everybody is loved by everybody. You can be perfect like that like you can literally be the most perfect person and i guarantee you mm -hmm. don't be somebody mm -hmm. out there who will still have something to say about you people love to nitpick and bring others down like people people be calling me fat people say i'm ugly people call me gay people like say a whole bunch of things about me i'm like okay but my boyfriend loves me and cares about me and I'm my family loves me they think i'm beautiful god thinks i'm beautiful mm -hmm. and that's all that matters so if you're not my boyfriend my mother or jesus i don't care and like you that's how that baby you think it's that's hair. how you guys Show. that's how you guys should think like honestly i feel so blessed that i get so many messages up from people on instagram like saying that i inspire them and all that and <laughs> baby and like i feel so like happy that i'm able to do that because it's like i struggled with my self-esteem for a very very long time like i used to look in the mirror and like literally just cry because i hated the way i looked and i hated myself and like i'm like about to cry <laughs> don't cry baby Go ahead and cry. Go no, ahead and no, 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 no. Okay. Oh, but anyway, um. But baby. What? <laughs> Look, that is deep part. A ghost put that there. That was me. But yeah, um, it takes some time to like really learn to love yourself, and it's not something that's gonna happen overnight. But step one. <laughs> is realizing that nobody in this world is perfect and step two is learning to just not care about what others think because listen because it's irrelevant some some of the people that throws nothing but hate your way are the people that love you the most 
I remember there was this dude. He used to always. I like that. What? But you just said. Cause it's a fact. It is a fact. I People remember, be low key fans. I remember this dude. He used to always comment nothing but like nothing but support. Like all over all of my posts. He used to say how much he loved me, how how big of a fan he was. And later to find out, there was this account that used to always comment hate on every single post. He was in control of both pages. Like, dead, dead serious. Every single time we post a video, within the first three minutes of the video being posted, we already have a dislike. That's a subscriber that just subscribed to dislike. You got people that lives to make you, to, they live to make you fall. And you know what? Also, I just wanna go off on what you're saying. Go ahead. I ain't even gonna be mad. Go ahead. Like he said, people who give you the most hate are probably the ones who love you the most. Mm -hmm. It'll probably be people who stalk your page every single day, people who look at your every move, people who are fans of you, who want to be like you, and who are jealous of you that will talk down on you. So it's like, honestly, don't even feel bad. Like, if someone is hating on you, saying negative things, don't feel bad about yourself. Feel bad for them because clearly something's wrong with them where they feel like they have to take time out of their day to make someone else feel bad. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So just pray for your enemies. You know what I'm saying? Pray for, pray for those type of people because honestly there's nothing wrong with you it's it's them those it's always them, them those I are promise. them people that's tardy to class every day probably got about 42 saturday detentions so they funny. probably laid on every single homework assignment they got no motivation in life to do anything so they just say Fuck my life right baby mm -hmm. yeah they don't feel good about themselves so they want others to feel like and that. that's a, that's you know another that goes back on earlier or what i was talking about earlier when i was saying some people may look at it it's inspiration some people may not they just look they just may look at us like y'all just cute i like y'all just good you also got people they can't find it within themselves to be generous they cannot find it within themselves to be genuine nor kind some people just have bad hearts and then you got people they can't find it in them. their self then you got people they can't find it in their self to spread hate like they're just too kind and too like me like i will never go under somebody's post like even if i don't like the post i will never say that is what because till this day till this day no flex like i know some rappers that are garbage you know what i mean but he's not gonna take the time out of but, his day to sit there click on comment type it out on his phone and leave that comment there like who does that and that's a fact i wouldn't even i wouldn't like, even spread hate to a hater you know what i mean like like i like i was um i was also getting ready to say like i could see a music video it's not all that it's just all right but i will comment on that post hella fire emojis saying this is so fire because that's just how i've always been i've always lived to uplift and not go down you know what i mean that's just how i've always been and it's sad that a majority of people are not like that yeah. you know what i'm saying like I, I just i don't understand how like how could you really have it in yourself to really troll like it just do not make no sense it like that's why no i sense. said if you guys follow me on twitter you will see so if you're not following me on twitter you should follow me on twitter <laughs> <laughs> but i have posted something on twitter the other day saying that the world just needs to end like humanity needs <laughs> oh, yeah, to start over or just end or something because i feel like there's so much evil and hatred in this world where sadly it's becoming like the popular thing yeah, to do it's, it's becoming sad. more like mainstream to be negative and and throw hate call everywhere females, call females bitches call them hoes like, and it's like normal to everyone it's like it's just so sad like this world i don't even know all right so let's talk about how to start a youtube like if you're not around like if you don't really have the tools to do so like if you're not around an area that's really popping you're mm -hmm. around a dead area so okay you're the youtube expert you can you can start okay so me I'm personally stuck. look at all these pickles i ate <laughs> oh feels so hot all right so me personally I came up from nothing. I've never had help with anything. Learning everything I know, it all has came from experience. So just with me, like what I think would be best if you're trying to start a YouTube in a hard area with nothing interesting. I would say just find something unique about yourself and like own it. I would say own that shit because what we live at, we live around nothing but trees and deers. <laughs> we don't live around, like the nearest mall to us is 45 minutes away. You feel me? So we don't live near anything. That's why we don't do a lot of vlogs. We lived in the city. We will vlog every single day because mm -hmm. we will be doing something every day, even if it was just going up the street. But here, if we going up the street, what you going to see? A deer. That's it. If y'all want to see deers all day, we will we'll, we'll be more than happy to do vlogs. But it's even hard to like go Christmas shopping because we gotta drive so far just to Christmas shop. So use us as a prime example. We just make we just make the best situations out of the worst situations. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So it's like you can even find somebody in your house that 
like if you have sisters if you have brothers you can find something that you can like if you're if you're really into doing pranks and stuff you know what i mean you can prank your brothers you can do all that like you you got youtube channels for everything you got people that got channels for sewing mm -hmm. you got people that got channels for how to repair a fan so honestly it's whatever you love yes. to do just find what you love to do and just, and just do it just own it because you'll be so surprised i know a lot of people feel like because i was one of these people like you feel like in order for you to start youtube and have a successful youtube channel you have to have like the newest camera and the newest everything like you don't need any of that like honestly as long as you have like a semi good quality camera on your phone you can use your phone to record you know what i'm saying like you don't need lights and cameras and backdrops like if this is something that you really want to do it'll work out it's not necessary especially if you're just starting out and you're you know what i'm saying like you really don't need that when you're just starting out phone camera in front of a window use natural mm -hmm. lighting honestly natural lighting is the best is the best thing out of any artificial lighting that you can get thanks any like high-end ring lights it doesn't matter natural lighting will always be the best like she said you can use your phone especially if you got the newer iphones oh my god those cameras are so fire bro like mm -hmm. that camera shoots as good as this camera mm -hmm. you know what i mean so just make sure your lighting is right make sure your angles are straight because boy 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 to break everything down one find something you're really good at or just find something that makes you stand out so don't worry about a crazy camera I would say just go for what you want. That's that's all I can say because you'll be surprised. So y'all we're about to do a little mini blazing challenge right here. I didn't even eat those fries. They're so soft and soggy. Cause and, you let them sit, babe. Cold. Maybe they were like that when we came in the house. Mm -hmm. One isn't gonna be that bad. I ate eight. Especially since these are super saucy. Mm -hmm. And like since it's been sitting for a little bit, kind of like dried. Oh, oh. You stay straight. So freaking mad. Gracias. Gracias de nada. Okay, de, ready? De o nada. Let me put my... I don't want this one no more. I don't want this flat. Flat. Or a little flat. Do you guys prefer flats or... Are these drums? Or drums? Mm -hmm. I choose flats all day, every day. Is that... If we do this again, we gotta get extra sauce. Mm hmm This ain't even hot, baby. This has like a little tang to it like a little cake but this this don't taste like how they did last time last time it was like hot hot yeah these ain't hot at all bro mm -mm. they taste good though like the flavor is good dang that was a fail then i just burnt my finger because i got a hangnail and it's a cut also oh baby so just cut it you okay mm -hmm. thank you for being concerned baby You're i welcome. love you you're so kind. Yeah. Dude. This is our first mukbang. This is fun, right? It was a nice chill video mm -hmm. talking. I like when we have these like little talk with you guys type of videos. If you want us to do it again, just comment below what place y'all want us to go to. Yeah, like what fast food place. If y'all want us to go to McDonald's, get a hundred that chicken would be nuggets. Fun. But I famo a lot. I have fun. You have fun, baby? Yes, baby. That was good. We love you guys so much, you know. Stay positive. Mm -hmm. Stay confident. Mm -hmm. Follow your dreams. Mm -hmm. And don't let haters get to you. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's what you took out of this video. If y'all always wonder why we're always looking like over here, it's because there's a mirror. There's a mirror. So the camera <laughs> the camera is like suctioned onto the mirror. Mm -hmm. And we just always look at we're ourselves. We're like at my vanity right now. Yeah. Give this video a big thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, if you guys like this type of video, just comment if you guys want us to do another mukbang. Where you guys want us to get some food from. What you guys want us to talk about next time. Subscribe to this channel. If, if you're, you're not subscribed channel, already, yeah. make sure your notification bell is on. Turned on, yeah. And if you're not following us on Twitter, Instagram, or Snapchat, that will all be where, baby? Right here. You feel me? Right here. Yeah. <laughs> But as always, as always, as always, sing it with me, baby. As always, as always, make a bless <laughs> us all shit. Yeah, yeah. You ask me a better one, I guess I'm a bag for me. Your body looks better on me, cause they get sweating for me. Won't you beg for me? Won't you beg? Won't you beg? Watch me beg for you. I'm a beg.